Well, Islamic State first gained infamy under the name ISIS, which has uh, proved to be an unfortunate coincidence for a few firms who suddenly found themselves linked to a group of bloodthirsty terrorists. RT's Polly Boyko takes a look. She's an Egyptian goddess worshipped as the ideal mother and protector of children, but dark forces have usurped her name. ISIS is now best known as a barbaric terrorist organization, running riot in Iraq and Syria and beheading U.S. journalists. But what if it happens to be the name of your company? So you see on here, we just had the word ISIS, and then the word mag was very, very small. And we realized that, no, we can't go to print with, you know, with this layout. We had to incorporate mag in the actual title, ISIS. ISIS mag in London was supposed to be about hair and beauty for women of African descent. We wanted our readers to, you know, unleash the goddess within them. So that was basically how we got the name ISIS for the magazine. We started getting um, messages via our Facebook page that we were part of the terrorist organization, and that wasn't cool. And we've worked really hard, so I said, OK, to my business partner, we have to make a change and we have to rebrand. It's not surprising that the threat posed by this terrorist group is giving businesses with the same name pause for thought. The problem is if you leave customers or potential customers with the idea that you might have some kind of connection um, or that they just feel uncomfortable when they've got choices about who to go to. This is a promo for a cardless payment app. The ISIS mobile wallet is a free app available for use with many of the latest smartphones. The US startup has announced that it's changing its name because it has no interest in sharing it with a terrorist organization. This development of condominiums in Florida used to be called ISIS Downtown, but it was swiftly changed to a much more vanilla 333. Generally speaking, it's brand suicide now to be called ISIS because the key ISIS logo is the beheading, and who wants to be associated with that? This is every business's worst nightmare has just happened. It's staring them in the face. It's happened before. The best case is Jaguar, who originally called SS Cars. And, of course, they had to change their name, and under the advice of an advertising agency, they became Jaguar, and they adopted the new brand logo of the Jaguar, but they are SS Cars originally. But rebranding is a luxury. It can cost millions of pounds. It means entirely new packaging, websites, designs and logos. And it could still be too late. British retailer Anne Summers have just released a new range of underwear called Isis. You can see they haven't had time to change the poster, so they've just blanked out the name in the shop window. But it makes you wonder what the Islamic terrorists hell-bent on subjugating women to Sharia law would make of the Isis lingerie. Polly Boyko, RT, London. And it's not just corporations and companies that are suffering because of being called ISIS. As we can now find out, I'm now joined live by ISIS Martinez. ISIS, thank you very much for being with us. So you faced uh, any difficulties because of your name in the last couple of months? Uh, yes, thanks for having me on. Um, I have actually experienced a number of very uncomfortable conversations with potential clients uh, in the emergency room. An intake nurse asked me uh, if I could use my middle name because she felt uncomfortable by pronouncing ISIS. Uh, everywhere I turn, it's, it's happening. It's very uncomfortable. People want to call me by a nickname. Uh, in the midst of, of all this, I started a petition to gather other women that I knew would be in the same position, and they are, and there's uh, parents with little girls named Isis that are also dealing with this kind of backlash. And it's really on the media. The petition is that the media stop using this name because, number one, it's inaccurate and it's irresponsible. And um, it's actually the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. Uh, the U.S. State Department uses it. All government officials use it. And we're asking the media to do this. And we're even looking into filing a class action lawsuit. 
Just to follow up on what you just said, I think it's because most people know the Islamic terrorist group as ISIS in the beginning. Hence, now it's infiltrated in the dialogue that most people use. But how soon after the group became known did this start? And how do you, how do you deal with it on an everyday basis? Well, from what I understand, uh, the government has known about the group for some time. It's not until the, most, the more recent months that the media actually started picking it up and it started um, getting around. I don't watch the news as often as I you know, probably could. I know a lot of people do. Uh, but it has, over the past month and a half, it has really become an issue. And, um, you know, I find myself sometimes holding back from even introducing myself. I have to introduce myself several times during the day um, to potential clients, and it's uncomfortable. And, and I've noticed people take a look at my badge and see my name, and, and you know, it's, it's uncomfortable. People, you know, cringe at, at the sound of my name now. With people reacting that way to when you introduce yourself or when you say your name, has it at any time during this last couple of weeks, have you even thought of just saying, you know what, I'm just not going to use my my name for a while and just use my middle name, as you said, uh, work has asked you before to do that. Is that where this is leading, you think? No, you know, I can't, I can't do that. You know, my name is Isis and I, I love my name. I'm proud of my name. My mother's name is Isis. She was named by my great grandfather in Cuba. I'm a U.S. citizen. And I think that this is something that the media has to do something about. And if I don't use ISIS, then the terrorists win. And it doesn't matter really what they're called. It's the fact that, you know, we need to do something about this terrorist group. And I, you know, this is, it's an unfortunate event. And I know that there's a greater tragedy, tragedy going on right now. But this is a real problem for many, thousands and thousands of women named ISIS in, around the world. Isis Martinez, we'll have to leave it right there. I think I've just learned today that your name actually means throne. Uh, so thank you very much for being with us here on RT.